Good afternoon. How are you? How are you again? This is another segment of Cooking Tips with Girard, brought to you by The Gathering again. Um, I know with um, Memorial Day closing in upon us next weekend, we will be getting to some grilling tips, which I know people are, 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 are looking forward to. But today, since I'm doing a gravy for a dish that um, we're donating to Regan Dowd's um, benefit tonight, I'm going to show you the difference between a slurry, a slurry and a roux. A slurry and a roux are two items that thicken a gravy, a sauce, or, yeah, a gravy and, and, and a sauce. A slurry would be just simple what we have all learned growing up, flour and some water. You would just add flour and water and mix it until you get a consistency of, of a pancake batter is what we're looking for here. Like so. Just the consistency of a pancake batter. That is flour and water and you have yourself a, you have yourself a slurry. A roux is a little bit different. A roux is butter, like in this pan, I put a, I melted a stick of butter. A roux is something more that I stick with because I believe it gives a gravy and a stew just more flavor because of the butter and the fat content in the butter. You just melt the butter, add in your flour a little at a time. Don't add it all at once because you don't want to crump it up on you. You want it a smooth, a smooth te texture and consistency here. And once again, you will do the same thing. Just whisk it, keep adding to it. Some might like it thicker than others. It's once again, it's depending on your preference. Just like so. As you can see, that's a consistency of a roux. A roux is just melted butter with flour added to it. As I said, it's this is more my preference when I'm thinking a, a gravy or a stew. I, um, I go to a roux because I like the flavor of the butter. So now you would just you would just get your gravy. This is my gravy that I got from my piece of pork. I have I have I have two of them here. One I'm gonna use use the slurry to thicken it. And the other I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the root to thicken it. So as you do this, you wanna do it slowly. This is called tempering. You will put a little at, 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 at a time. As anyone who has ever made gravy, the gravy clumps up on you. It's from dumping the slurry in too quickly. A little at a time, let it mix in. It's the same concept of if, if you think of what would happen if you dropped an egg into, into a hot liquid, you would cook the egg. Basically, it's what, you, it's what you're doing when you're dumping it in all at once. You, you, would be cooking, you would be cooking the slurry. So you want to do it very little, add a clip, wait till it gets thick. There you go. You have a thick gravy. Some people might like it thicker, thicker than others. That's your preference. And we will do the same thing with the roux into the other gravy. Very little, very little at a time. At, 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 at a time. Don't dump it in all at once. It's going to clump up on you. As I said, you you're introducing something that is room temperature to something that is well above 200 degrees. You don't want to cook it. You just want to introduce to it, you want to introduce it to it little by little so it incorporates and blends in with your item.
And there you go. You have a thick gravy. One used in a roux, which is melted butter and flour, and one used in a slurry, which is water and, 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 and flour. Okay? And if you wanted to do a bechamel white sauce, you would start with that roux and just add milk or heavy cream to it to thicken it up, and right there you would have a white sauce. You can add garlic, you can, and you can add white wine to it, whatever your preference is. Thank you very much for, for listening, and, 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 and enjoy your day.